Hi, today I have interesting video about uh, genetics and statistics and here is a problem. Find the number of ways 5 alleles A, B, C, D, E of the same gene can combine in deployed organism. And if you feel that you can uh, solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem and later when you would be uh, ready uh, you can run video again and you can uh, compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And uh, I want to start my explanation just reminding you about uh, simple um, problems that you probably remember from the textbooks when uh, usually in simple Mendelian genetics we have two alleles. For example, uh, this can be capital A and uh, small a. So dominant and recessive that can produce three different uh, genotypes. First one would be capital A, capital A, homozygous dominant, and capital A and small a, heterozygous, and small a, and small a, homozygous recessive. So as you see, two alleles, uh, A, capital A, and small a, would produce three genotypes. And uh, these three genotypes would produce two uh, phenotypes. So this is going to be one phenotype in simple uh, Mendelian genetics. And uh, this one going to be uh, the second one. So uh, three genotypes and two phenotypes. And uh, I also uh, want to remind you, for example, different problem that you might probably also know how to solve uh, this about uh, ABO blood group system when we have three uh, different uh, alleles and this is going to be A, B and O and such uh, three alleles may produce six uh, genotypes and four phenotypes. So first would be capital A, capital A and capital A O and such two genotypes would produce one phenotype that is A and also we may have uh, capital B capital B and capital B O and such uh, two genotypes would produce one phenotype blood group B and also we may have uh, uh, capital A and capital B and such phenotype or genotype would produce blood group AB. So uh, genotype here would uh, equal to phenotype. And also the last one would be O, o uh, genotype that would produce phenotype O. So once again one genotype would produce one phenotype. So as you see, the more alleles we have, the more complicated our problems become. And uh, as you see here, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six genotypes and one, two, three, four phenotypes. So uh, uh, now let me return to our problem. So we have five uh, alleles and allele is uh, just variant of the same gene. For example, we have five alleles, that means that we have five variants of the same gene. And this can be, for example, A, B, C, D and E. And each one would be slightly different version of the, um, of the other one. So, for example, this one may have uh, here some mutation and uh, allele B may have mutation in the different place. This uh, even can be uh, two mutations or more. And uh, this also can be one nucleotide mutation or this can be insertion or uh, this can be deletion. So different types of mutations are possible. And every time uh, such mutation leads to a new variant of the gene or new allele. So now we have to find uh, how many 
different variants we may have in deployed organism. So uh, deployed organism would have two identical chromosome, one uh, that uh, would be uh, derived from the mother side, another one would be from the father side, so maternal and paternal. And uh, here in uh, the same locals, as you see, we may have different combinations. For example, this can be allele A, and this one can be, for example, B. Another variant would be uh, when we may have uh, alleles uh, C and C, and uh, yet another one when we may have at the same locus alleles uh, C and E. So, as you see, there are many combinations possible. So, how to find how many different combinations are possible? Uh, this is uh, Rather simple, we just have to build a kind of Punnett square, not exactly, but still. So uh, on top we uh, would have uh, to list all the our alleles. So this is going to be allele A, B, C, D, and E, and the same alleles on the uh, side. So A, B, C, D, and E. And now let me build a Punnett square here, or just uh, a grid here. And as you see, we are going to have uh, 25 cells here, but uh, I can uh, warn you that uh, our final result wouldn't be 25 uh, variants. So we would have least variants. And now I would explain you. So here we would have, uh, as you see, capital A, capital A. And here we would have capital A, capital B, A, C, A. D and A, E. So second row we would have B, A, B, 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 C, and B, D, and B, E. So here we would have C, A, C, B, C, 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 D, C, E, and D, A here, D, B, D, C, D, 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 E, and E, A here, E, B, E, C, E, D, and E, E in the last cell. So as you see, uh, we have 25 uh, genotypes, and, but not uh, all the combinations are unique. For example, we have B, A here, and A, B here. And this would be the same combination, because uh, inside the cell, uh, there is no such thing like uh, first and second or left and right. As long as uh, allele A and B present, it doesn't matter in which order uh, they go. So, uh, as you see here, for example, C and A and A and C, and for example, C, B and B, C here. So, we can, uh, we can exclude those uh, genotypes or repetitive uh, variants, so here would be unique variants, and here those that would be repetitive, so let's count how much uh, now we left, as you see, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So we have uh, fifteen unique uh, variants or genotypes. And uh, here is another method how we can uh, count them. For example, uh, here, as you see in the first column, we have five different variants. In the second uh, column, we have four. In the third, we have three left, and uh, two here, and one in this row. So we just can add all these numbers, and as you see, the answer would be 15 different uh, uh, variants and different genotypes possible here. And uh, also you can use express method. So as you see, we have five uh, uh, different alleles here. So imagine that we have, for example, um, uh, not five, but six. And uh, here would be say allele x or z so in, in this case as you see uh, in this row we just would uh, or in this column we just would have uh, six variants and in this seven we just have to add them to these uh, numbers and uh, the answer would be 28 so we don't have to build even such a grid uh, we can uh, solve uh, this problem uh, using only just this part uh, of our calculations and as you see it's very easy and fast so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye